again, thank you guys for coming out. Uh, unfortunately, we dropped we uh, dropped another heartbreaker this past weekend, uh, 23, 20 to uh, Prairie View. Good attendance, good energy by the players. Unfortunately, we were not able to capitalize uh, on some turnovers and. Unfortunately, we turned the ball over. I thought the game pretty much was a, a match. What they did, we for the most part did. They made one field goal, and we missed the field goal. Uh, we missed the PAT. They missed the PAT. They got a couple more sacks than we did. Uh, they had 70 plays. We had 69. I think they had 257 yards. We had 256. So the game pretty much was a uh, it was a, ba a balanced game. Uh, they stopped us one more time than we stopped them. Coach, what do you want to see from your offense in the second half in order to, to get over the, the hump? Well, we were moving the ball down uh, the second time we got the ball. Unfortunately, we had, a, uh, we had a penalty, and it backed us up. I think we were on the 25-yard 25, 25 line at, at that particular point in time. And then the next play, uh, we got sacked. So we were not able to make a to make a field goal. Uh, special teams has really hurt us somewhat this year. Uh, we thought we had that fixed last year, but things happen, and uh, so that was another area in which we needed to get some help. We have two guys right now in the kicking game that are doing the best that they can do. Unfortunately, that's not good enough, and uh, we all have assignments that we're responsible for. I'm responsible for managing uh, this football team. And each and every player are responsible for their position. And I am not doing my job as well as it should be done. And we as a whole, as a team, we're not doing our job as good as we should be able to do it. And uh, it's not from a lack of trying, but trying don't get it. We have to get it done. Coach, is there any worry or concern that your guys maybe come out flat a little bit this week at practice leading through the game just because of the way the losses have gone, how close they have been? No, I don't think so. Uh, irregardless of who takes the field, offense or defense, when we come out the first drive, for the most part, with the exception of the Jackson State game, we didn't do anything, but neither did Jackson State uh, offense. It took us both uh, a little bit of time to go. But when we have come out and gotten the ball first, we've come out with energy. I think it took us four plays to score against uh, uh, FAMU in Atlanta. We played someone else where it took us maybe six or seven plays to score. So uh, we, can, we, can bring the, we can bring the funk offensively too. So I don't worry about comments that some people make. Uh, we just cannot afford to turn the game over uh, to our opponents. We have hurt our defense some because those guys have actually started the game behind because we've thrown an interception uh, that has gone back for touchdown for a touchdown. So that, that that's hurt, but uh, I think guys come out with the energy and, and ready to play. Have turnovers been the issue to start the half and the last three losses? Or just Turnover. in general, the overall in the second half? I would say, regardless of where the turnovers have occurred, they have been an issue. Uh, they've, they've hurt us. Uh, I, I don't know any turnovers that, that help you. So I, I didn't need to make that statement, but I did. They hurt us. That's the bottom line. Uh, another thing that have hurt us is third downs. We offensively have not produced well enough on third downs, be it third and one, third and two, or third and five whatever the case may be. Defensively, we have not produced well enough on third downs. Uh, people are converting at too high of a rate there, and we've been playing some pretty good defense, but that has hurt us. But you have to look at the guys that we have playing. We're starting three freshmen there on that defensive line that probably are outweighed by 50 pounds or so. But it's not from a lack of trying. Uh, those guys get pressure on the quarterback somewhat, and uh, they're doing the best of 
best that they can, and I think they're going to uh, finish the, the season trying to improve all the time. You know, on both sides of the ball, uh, we've lost some guys. We've lost uh, Clinton Boyd probably for the rest of the season. On Wednesday at practice, he sustained a, a knee injury. He's actually got scoped this morning uh, in the ball game. Uh, Trey Taylor went down with an ankle injury. We've had several, <coughs> several ankle injuries. And it's tough for those guys to get healthy on the type of playing surface that we are practicing on. It's extremely bad, the football field. You know, uh, so Southern alumni, Southern University uh, need you all to contribute to funds for the field. Uh, I've contributed $10,000 to that project. It's not moving uh, as well as we would like, just like the success of this football team is not moving as well as we would like. But we're making efforts towards getting that done, and I would appreciate if we can make efforts towards getting that field done because uh, the university needs it, the athletic department needs it. You talk about Sylvester's, I guess, last three games, how he's really come on and helped you guys out in the running game, first 100-yard rusher you've had since you've been here. Well, Sylvester has come along because the offensive line has come along. We have some big bodies on that offensive line. Uh, we're running inside zone for the most part, and those guys are just getting their big bodies on other opponents, and, and things are starting to happen for us. But on the contrary, in the passing phase of the game, those uh, freshmen, they don't pass block as well as some of the veteran guys that were in there, and uh, that's a, a little bit of, of a concern. What's the scouting report on Pine Bluff? I know they started well, but then coming off some, some key losses. So do you catch them at the right time? Well, it's the right time because it's another game. Uh, we don't particularly care about who we're playing, just how we're playing. It has not been uh, the opponents that have beaten us offensively, I, I would say. And guys work hard every day when they come out offensively. But we cannot afford to turn the ball over. I don't care who we're playing. We made games close. Uh, we were fortunate enough to beat Mississippi Valley, but we turned the ball over there as well, and, and that hurt us. So we have to try to eliminate the turnovers. We're doing a better job of eliminating the penalties, but we have to do even better because in Atlanta, when we started a drive in the third quarter, the first, uh, Sylvester picked up 11 yards, but that get called back because we have a holding call. And it's not from a lack of trying, it's just something that happened. And we have to uh, cut those things out.